So really quickly, I thought I'd show the uh, kind of Canon battery grip that I modded to use with the Sony A7S. The LP6 batteries use um, similar voltage to the Sony batteries, but they're a higher capacity. And I happen to have like dozens of these laying around as well as a, a battery grip that I wasn't using. And so the batteries that come with the Sony A7S technically suck. Um, they don't last very long at all and the LP6 is a good way to power it but instead of using an external power tray or battery tray like the other mod this one mounts directly to the camera so there's no wires you could still tripod mount the entire camera um, and it's you know it's a good little hack if you have these things laying around otherwise I wouldn't go out and buy all this stuff just to do it but if you have all this old stuff laying around you could um, do something similar so I have two batteries in here, and now that I've gutted the battery grip, um, it's not smart enough to switch between battery A and battery B. So I've added this little toggle switch here. The toggle was a lot longer, but I cut it and then I um, filed it down to be as short as possible. So, uh, And it's pretty firm, so you have to really force it to uh, switch over from battery A to battery B. This switch right here I started with, but ended up not using so I'll uh, take this out later but it's not really being used this is the the main toggle switch so if I switch this camera on here you'll notice that it's not gonna power on if I drop one of these batteries in here let's see so obviously it's not powering on because it wants this battery but we hit this toggle switch now that this battery's here wait a second and there you go, you see the uh, camera's powered on. So if I, now if I switch this here and uh, put this battery in and take this one out, you'll notice that it's powering off of this battery here. So this one's no longer being used. So I'm able to toggle between the both and the Sony, if you could see, let me see if that menu will come up. There you go. So it has some uh, meters here. So it's actually detecting the power of the battery. I haven't done any long run tests, but it does run a long time, lot, much longer than the internal Sony battery, which is kind of cool. And the grip adds some weight when you're working with heavier lenses. So it kind of balances out this really small body. Um, again, I wouldn't buy all this stuff just to make it, but if you have it laying around, it's kind of it's kind of a cool way to use old gear. Um, but anyways, that's kind of my DIY battery grip for super long run times on the Sony. You can find out more how I did it on the website cheesycam.com.